it is confession time. So I woke up this morning and I made a decision. About a month or two ago, a new Planet Fitness opened like a mile from my house. And I always said that I thought our town needed one and it would make life so much easier. So I did buy an online membership. I was just waiting for it to open. It was supposed to open earlier in the year, but with COVID, it just didn't. Um, but I've kind of hemmed and hawed and honestly, I've been extremely busy working 12, 13 hour days that I just haven't made time for myself. And I don't want to be lumped in with this new year, new me crap. <laughs> um, but I just, I woke up today and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do this. So I'm going to go do this, but. I'll be back after to talk about it. We'll see how this goes. And yes, it's snowing. <sighs> Here we go. Done. All done. I finished. I did 30 minutes on a slight incline and a 10 minute cool down. I have a lot of thoughts on it. Um, I don't even know where to start. It felt good, don't get me wrong. But there's a lot of emotions which that I think I went through at the same time, so. I have to pop into Dollar Tree and get some Christmas bags. So I'll keep trying to collect those a little bit. All right, what a long day. Um, I'm sorry that I'm getting two videos out tonight, but uh, it's my anniversary and I was a little laggy yesterday. So I had a lot of things going on today. Um, but yeah, so let's run back to the gym this morning. So I had a great day, I feel good, you know, I took a nice shower, I exfoliated with an extra skin scrub after, like I physically feel good and I don't regret it. The thing that I was inferring earlier is that I tend to do this mental battle with myself when it comes to the gym. Like, I always feel good after. That's obviously not the issue. But, you know, back when, good old email, but back when I was, um, you know, in school and, you know, played basketball competitively for two teams and had a very nice Division One college scholarship lined up. Um, you know, I worked out five hours a day and I didn't grow up as like a fat kid. You know, I was a little chubby in grade school, nothing crazy, but you know, I got into sports, slimmed down. I was never a zero, but like, it was just built and, you know, God, I'd exercise four or five hours a day and it was just easy and I loved it. And, you know, I know things change when you get older, you have a family, you have a job and all these other... <laughs> things you have to do and distractions, but, you know, I went to the gym today thinking that I was going to do, you know, a speed of 3.5 with an incline of five or so for 30 minutes. And with that big disc herniation I have in my lower back, that was not the case and that was not something I could do. So I had to drop the treadmill down to a 2.5 and an incline of two. And I was able to do it for three minutes. I did feel very tender after. And then I dropped it down a little bit more, made it flat, and did a 10 minute cool down. And that's what I did today. And I know I should be happy that it's a baby step. You know, it was, it was a move in the right direction. It was a little move in the right direction. Like, there's this part of me that just mentally beats myself up when I do this because I just keep feeling like it's almost kind of pathetic that 
that is what's intermediate for me right now. Like, you know, I had a good sweat. My heart rate was in a good range for, you know, fat burning and all that jazz. But it was like internally humiliating for a bit for me too. Like, I don't ever fully expect to be as thin as I was when I was in high school. I don't think everybody has that ability. And plus, you know, developing PCOS along the way has... <laughs> aided my weight gain not saying that it's not all my fault you know that it's not my fault either but I don't know I just I beat myself up and you know I'd look at you know 10 minutes in I was looking at the timer and I'm like god you're sweating nearly 10 minutes in just like all these little things that I would just nag at myself during like you know I feel confident in my skin a majority of the time, but just when it comes to exercising, I'm extremely critical of myself because I know what I was formerly able to do. And this back injury this whole last year has just sent me for a spin that I live every day in pain, in constant pain. I don't take a majority of my medications because they make me super tired and running a business and being a mom, I can't do that. I'm looking at some alternative options. You know, I you know, did the whole physical chiropractor route and it helps. But I mean, there is some form of a pain that I just, I live with every day, you know, and it's hard because I've pushed myself through ankle injuries, knee injuries, but this this lower back injury that I developed about a year ago now has been really hard, but you know, I'm bound and determined to get a little bit of weight off, you know, like most people, I probably gained about 25 pounds this year between my back injury and quarantine and depression, COVID, and everything else, losing my job, having to start a new business, and and whatnot, but I've taken some steps to help with that. I've been working with a nutritionist the past two months that has just been so eye-opening. She's amazing, and, you know, a good chunk of this is mental. It's so mental. Like, you know, relationship with food is a very mental thing, and, you know, it's letting yourself be okay if you want to have a couple Christmas cookies have a couple Christmas cookies I'm that type of person previously that would have a couple Christmas cookies and then just beat myself up for having Christmas cookies and you know sometimes I would binge sometimes I would just not want to eat like it was just so far in either direction is how I would react to it but it's taken a couple of months to get over that, but you know, now I'm just in this cycle of where I feel good and just by, you know, aiming, like she's not telling me that I have to eat 1200 calories a day. She's like, that's not sustainable. I'm not gonna tell you to avoid bread your entire life. Um, but you know, she's just like, you know, try to aim for five to 600 calorie meals with maybe one snack or so during the day. You know, aim around 1800-ish calories. And, you know, just make sure you get 30 grams of protein with each meal. And I gotta say, that's been my biggest help. And even right before Thanksgiving to when I weighed myself today, I've lost about 10 pounds. And that was with Thanksgiving. And trust me, I indulged with my brother and my father here. But I mean, I feel good. When I get those 30 grams of protein at roughly each meal, I feel good. I'm not hungry. I don't crave things and just... It's good. The gym was just another mental struggle today. I'm hoping to get there tomorrow. It is the homeschool day. Just going to be here for part of it. But I do have a lot on my plate. I'm just, I'm trying to, my goal is to try to get seven days in a row of just doing that basic 30 minute to level two incline with the 2.5 walk and a 10 minute cool down for seven days. That is my goal. 
I'll be happy if I go at least three, but you know, I'm setting a goal here. So what are some of the goals that you guys have to better yourself? You know, obviously around the new year, everybody makes new year's resolutions and there's everybody that tells you that it needs to be a lifestyle. And I'm here to tell you just by the work that I've put in so far working with a nutritionist, it really is. And it's so mental. So I encourage you if you're struggling like that, like I am or in a slightly different way, you know, reach out to a nutritionist and just kind of get that basic part. I mean, her and I meet every two to three weeks and it's just, it's nice. It's a little bit of accountability and she's helping me actually with my PCOS too. And it's been great, but I do have to get back to my family. It is my anniversary tonight. So thank you guys so much. I'm sorry that I'm sorry that I'm uploading two videos at once tonight, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.